All right. Oh my god, that is loud. Oh my god, my ears. Just start. Just start. Oh, wait. Hold on. Mikoto... Wait. Yeah, Mikoto Niki. Alright. Actually, let me throw this like here. Just, oh. That means that's a bit of egg, but okay. Cool. Alright. So there's a work of fiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's my mouse? There it is. Presented by Sharon. Which. Like, is that. Is that an image of Furuderika from Higurashi? Mikoto! What? Wait. Lag? Hold on. The, please don't tell me the stream is lagging. Please don't fucking tell me the stream is lagging. Please do not fucking tell me the stream is lagging. Please do not fucking tell me the stream is lagging. Please do not fucking tell me the stream is lagging. Please do not fucking tell me the stream is lagging. Please do not. Seems this. No, it seems fine. Why the fuck did you put the fucking buffering symbol? The fucking buffering emoji when the stream is like fucking lagging? Anyway. I'll be right back. I've, 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 I gotta do something real quick. Uh, no, sorry, I just had something to do really quick. Um, one. 
Okay. All right. All right. Mikoto. I like you, Mikoto. Please go out with me. Uh, is the game... Does the game not have any audio, just normally? Oh, okay, there we go. Huh? M-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-m-
It's the exact same theme. Down. Okay, anyway. Uh, and now the game is permanently muted. Oh, no it isn't. Okay, it, it just had to repeat. Pardon the intrusion. Go ahead and take it easy. After all, I'm the only one home today. Oh, hey Mataro, remind me. Do you like black tea? I like it. Really? That's great. I love peach black tea, and I was hoping you'd like mine. That's not all I have though. I also have apple and muscat tea. But I always make my peach tea when I have special guests over. Oh, that reminds me, Mataro. How late can you stay over? Uh, I don't mean that in a strange way or anything, really. Is that as I want? It's not set in stone? Uh, as late as I want. If I have parents, fuck them. Ah, okay. I can't have you staying too late, though. Your mom will worry. Fuck her. But I don't want you leaving without eating- without having eaten dinner. I'm gonna do my best to make it. What are you going to make? Where are your parents? Uh, fuck, what are you going to make? It's a secret. Uh huh. You'll have to enjoy it later. Well then, I think it's about time I got started on dinner. Sit back and relax, Mataro. You can watch the TV if you're bored. Turn on the TV? Sure. I turn the TV on. There isn't anything particularly interesting uh, on right now. Let's turn it back off. Wow, that's fantastic. There's not much in the trash in here. Oh no, I know where this is going. There's a teacup with a few sips taken uh, from the tea inside. The tea has already gone cold. There's some warm peach tea in the teapot. There's a teacup here with a few sips taken from the tea inside. The tea is already gone cold. Mikoto's, fa Mikoto's favorite dinnerware are arranged here. There are various items here. There are various food stuff in food stuff in the refrigerator. I love refrigerators. It's a faucet. I don't need any water right now. A bunch of pots and kettles are stored inside. Ow, my head hurts. Um, I'm making the food right now. You just sit back and relax, Mataro. But please don't wander around too much. Why? You can't go in my room. It's not like it's messy or anything, but it is a girl's room. It'd be embarrassing to have you looking around at all my stuff. Fair. So let's go to your room. Oh, it's <laughs> Usa. Hello. I offer my save. I offer my save point services throughout the nation. Care to save? Yes. <laughs> wow, Usa really is in all of the games, huh? There's a nightstand with a drawer. Mikoto's. Alright, well, you know what we gotta do. <laughs> you got those bad hazard scent on it? Well, sniff, sniff. Do it again. Books and other things decorate the shelf. Various books and, and stationery are on the bookshelf. You got those closet. I can't just go snooping around inside. There's a little bit of trash in the trash can, but nothing of note. Mikoto, it's Mikoto's computer. I shouldn't mess with it without her permission. It's locked. She's going to stab me and I fully deserve it. It's Mikoto's evening coat. There's a cupboard for shoes here. Okay. 
Uh, so what exactly do I do? There's a calendar here. What does it say? It's a clock. It doesn't seem to be anything weird about it. It's an intercom. It doesn't seem to be anything weird about it. Look at the food. I got it. Good. Uh, this is locked, so I, I guess I have to go in the room. But what did I not check? There's a nice sound of a drawer. There's a little bit of chest and trash can, but nothing to note. What am I supposed to check? Hold on, what? Uh, is there a QR code in the game? I don't think so. I haven't seen one at least. There are various items here. It's for dinner. Where I guess I watched the TV again. I turned the TV on. There isn't anything particularly interesting. I turn it back off. Uh, carpet? No. Uh... Inside the shoe cupboard, there are several pairs of shoes in neat rows. They're quite dusty. It's locked. Did I not check something? Plus, I don't need water right now. There are teacups arranged in neat rows in the cabinet. I guess this is Mikoto's collection. There's a picture on the shelf. In the picture are Mikoto and what appeared to be her mother and father. She doesn't look very happy. Also, what was that noise? Various books and stationery on the bookshelf. There are lots of difficult looking books on the bookshelf. I hear undertone music in the background. Do you? I hear nothing. <laughs> There's a charm affixed to the underside of the table. It's kind of creepy, so I'll pretend I didn't see it. Yes. Uh, I'm making food. Finger in my room. Did I check her closet? Just check it. Wait. Oh? Okay. There was a test at school today. Of course I did as well on it as I do on all the others. I'm a genius, so there's no problem I can't solve. The entry ends here. Upon closer inspection, something is written on the back in small letters. Come to the entrance. You got diary scrap one. Come to the entrance. Did she know that we were gonna fucking... Mikoto's... Mikoto's making food for me. I should wait for her to finish. There's a torn diary scrap. Read it. 
Whether it was cooking, studying, or dressing nicely, Mikota just loved them all and enjoyed doing them whatever she got the chance. But, 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 my wallet. Cry. Mikota was always out of money, since she didn't have an allowance. Her only choice was to get a part-time job. Uh... How about waiting in the girls' room? I'm pretty sure that the game doesn't move on until... Until, uh... The game doesn't move on until, like, you actually, like, get the... Until you, you manually progress, basically. Mikoto was always out of money since she didn't have an allowance. Her only choice was to get a, a part-time job. Mikoto has it pretty hard. I sure wish someone would come save me. Eh? What I want? What I want, would put, what I want right now is... Let's see. Some clothes. A bag, a reference book, a notebook, and some pens. A recipe book. There are too many things I want. The entry ends here. On closer inspection, something is written on the back in small letters. Do you like black tea? Dice scrap too. Okay, so it's some it's under the table. It's kind of curious how pretend I didn't see it. Okay, so it's in the tea. There is something on the bottom of the teapot. It's a torn diary scrap. Read it. Somehow I got confessed to again. It's hard being so popular. But, hmm. I wonder if he's the type that just wants to go out without taking it seriously. Could you really be the right guy for me? Nah. I want to have a real meaningful relationship. I... I can't go out with someone unless I fall in love with them. Unless I fall in love with them first. I'm not gonna... Let myself get played by any weird guy that comes along. Hmm. Entry ends here. It's written in small letters. Staying over. We got Diary Scrap 3. I'm staying over, yeah. Making food. I got it. So, staying over. What, the bed? Underneath the bed, there's a torn diary scrap. Okay. I've been thinking. It sure would be nice if I have a happy life. Having a fantastic relationship, working a great job, spending my time with the happiest family in the world. And I play with my kids a ton. Every day would be lots of fun. And at the end of the day, I want to get in, in bed with my wonderful husband. Of course, I don't mean that in a weird way. There are four guests to wear. Dice got four. Gotta save, yes. I'm guessing it's the shoe thingy. Okay, run. No, I can't. They're pretty dusty. No? Uh, four guests to stay? Four guests to stay. Uh, don't, there isn't anything particularly interesting. Four guests to stay. It's locked. Can I read that again? No. No, no I can't. Um... Four guests to stay, what does that mean? It's 
the fridge. Yeah, I got it. Um, there's a charm. Oh, yeah. Same PP. Okay. Calendar here. Intercom. It's a clock. Um, oh my head. This is still locked. Yes. I guess it has to be in here. Uh, not that. There's a nice stand in the drawer. Um, inside the gas slippers, there's a tornado scrap. Oh my god, it was right there. I was so right the first time. I was literally one, like, tile off. Think you need to look for a secret door to get the secret ending? There's a secret ending? Oh man, oh man, I have some really great news today. See, there's this guy I've kind of had my eye on. His name is Yukimaru. And guess what? He told me he likes me. <laughs> I got confessed to. So because of that, I'm in a totally good mood. There are plenty of guys who say they like me. But they're never the guys who I'd actually like to hear a confession from. It kind of bums me out. So I decided to give this little crush of mine a, a chance to bloom. Though, I wonder if Yukimaru will be able to understand me. Yeah, entrance here, upon closer inspection. A cold stare. Let me scrap five. Oh. Cold stare. Got it. Stare at her? I don't think that's a that's it's either the tv or let's turn it back off no okay so it's probably in here or not no i already found a, a note in there There's a picture on the shelf. Maybe it's this. No. Uh. A cold stare. The jacket. No. There's various items here. A calendar here. Intercom clock, uh, maybe the the tea is cold. No, the fridge inside the fridge, there's a torn diary scrap. Okay, no one understands me, not dad, not mom, not my friends, not one single person understands me. The entrance here, one closer inspection, something is written. And on the back of smaller letters. Study. Got diary scrap six. Oh, the music started. Yes, Mataro. Say nothing, hold her hand. Um Say nothing. Uh let me go save. I wanna go save. I wanna go save. Yeah, I wanna go save first. Care to save? Yes. Okay. Now I'll go hold her hand. I'm like, fuck! Well. Shit. Well. Sucks to suck. Alright. Um, what was the hint?
study was the hint. Restart? I can't. I already saved. I guess it, uh, don't. I guess I restart the whole game. Is it the computer? No. The books. There's something inside one of the test books. All right. You know, I'm trying my best. I really am. But why? Because I want to make mom and dad happy. That's what I tell myself. I... I don't know why I try so hard. It's not like I'm particularly smart. And yet, I study, study, study. I'm forced to study, but there's no real point to it. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! That entry ends here. One closer and smooth, there's something written in small letters. If you break it, you're paying for it. Okay, so it's the thingies, the the plates or the teacups, those ones. But first, let me talk to her. Shit. Fuck. All right, this dinnerware. Sign between two of the plates. Torn diary scrap. Read it. You know, I love to cook. Omelets with rice are my specialty. I can make any man mine with just one bite. As if. But really, everyone always tells me it tastes good. And that makes me want to make even more. So I think someday I'd like to open up my own shop. I don't know when, but someday. I'm going to become a super awesome chef that everyone will be jealous of. The entrance here. Upon closer inspection, some written in small letters. Even in coat. Alright, well, that one's pretty straightforward. Inside the pocket, there's a torn diary scrap. My name is Takashi Mikoto. I'm a third year high school student, an eternal 17 year old. My specialty is cooking. Naturally, I'm a member of the cooking club. I'm also in the tennis club, but I rarely ever go. For some reason, people call me popular, but am I really that charming? I don't know about that kind of stuff. And trying to make myself more appealing is kind of a pain. Uh, but I never skip classes. I never study the way I'm supposed to. I'm always the one with the highest test scores. When I end up at the top, mom and dad are always happy. When I don't, the entry ends here. Something written in small letters. Gonna throw it away. It's one of the, it's one of the bins. Except I don't know which one. This one. There's not much trash in here. And tr okay. Hey, hey, hey. Ever since that one day. Uh, Mikoto is a nerd? Yeah, pretty much. Hey, Nord, how you doing? Um, ever since that one day, I feel like it's uh, gotten more fun around here. I don't know what mom's saying anymore. I don't understand what dad's saying either. What's so funny, funny, funny? I'm so funny. During that moment, I thought, it's quiet now. Maybe they won't do anything to me anymore. Surviving? Yo, same. It's like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I feel like I can do anything. The entrance here. Come to the garden. There's a garden? Something shiny is inside the trash can. A storage room key. Making the food. I got it. Alright. Let's go to the garden. A syringe is lying on the floor. Take it. That thing is going to go into your... That thing has some sort of chemical in it. I'm, I'm telling you now. It's empty. There's some medicine inside. There are several syringes tightly packed inside. It's a plant. Creepy music. There's nothing in the drawer. Yeah. There's a book in the drawer. What book is it? It's a rather foggy mirror. There's a bunch of emergency good uh, sitting in the box. Take the flashlight? Okay. And it doesn't even light up. Great. A man's suit and shirt are hung, he are hung here. Could these belong to Mikoto's dad? 
It's a it's a wardrobe with a mirror attached. It's a wardrobe. Okay, with a mirror attached. Yeah. There's a red flower here. I don't know what kind. I don't know what kind it is. There's a red flower here. I don't know what kind it is. There's a pink flower here. Seems to be taken care of quite nicely. There's a well-maintained flower here. Inside the dirt, there's a torn diary scrap. Read it. It's not like anyone is ever gonna understand me. I study, 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 study all the time, and I think I might have gotten just a bit crazy. What am I doing? Diary ends here. So I'm reading this one. Hmm. Very insightful. There's a red flower here. I don't know what kind it is. There's a trash can here. A bunch of ki kitchen refuses inside. Okay. Mataro, it's almost ready. Unless you just can't wait anymore. What's with the diary? Or dot dot dot. Do you just... Do you just, uh... Dot dot dot. What's up? You're looking kind of scary. You're not feeling well? Are you okay? I'm fine. Really? Don't push yourself too hard. Oh, um, Mataro? You know, I think I might really like you. Is that okay with you? Of course. <laughs> I'm glad. Just kidding. That was all a joke. Just pretend it never happened. Though I might like to hear your answer later on. I should have saved now that I think about it. Wait, what? This isn't how it's supposed to go. You're the one who confessed to me, ha ha ha. Um. Toronto TV? Isn't anything. Alright. Uh. Well, now what? To save, yeah. Um, because it's computer. Huh. So, do I just leave? Because I was making food for me, I should wait for it to finish. Do I just. The message is. Yes, very, very insightful. Um, att oh wait, it's a rather foggy mirror. Attached to the back is a torn diary scrapped. Scrap. Today I invited Yukimaru over to a for a special treat. I whipped him up. A batch of my best food. He said it was delicious. I was so happy. Of course, I thought about making my special peach tea, but Yukimaru seemed a bit different, so I made muscat tea instead. He kept asking what was in my closet, which made me angry. I was so scared of what would happen, but he wouldn't let up. What a meanie. I thought he would understand, though, so I left him alone. Yukimaru is gone now. Entrance here. Upon closer inspection, I'm written in small letters. Strange medicine. Strange medicine. So this. No. This. A syringe. Something is inside it. Torn tire diary scrap. Break 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 Very insightful. When was it? But you tell me. I guess it. I guess it's the calendar. Mikoto. Psst, da da da. That's what you have to say. All right. Interesting. There's a calendar here. As I flip the page, something falls out of it. It's a torn diary scrap. Read it. My fault. Is it my fault? Whenever I'm around, everyone's unhappy. I'll just stop. I'll stop, 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 stop. Getting involved with any, 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 any,
I ever stopped, I stopped. I stopped. It would all be better. Fun closer and spin. My birthday is the key. If you really care about me, you'll understand, right? Birthday is the key. Ak, Mataro, what should I do? I, um, I think I might have messed up the food. I'm sorry. I even got your hopes and everything. Uh, I want to cry. It's okay. Huh? You forgive me? Mataro, thank you. I'm really... I really am sorry. But I'll start doing it over right now. I really, I really want to save my cooking. Alright. Cool. Uh, birthday is the key, so I guess the what image? Picture? This? Doesn't look happy. Guess not. Uh. Oh, I turned it on. It looks like I need a three digit password. Her birthday. Incorrect. Can't just go snooping around inside. There's a body in there. <laughs> I can assure you, there is a body in there. Let me see. There's a calendar here. Okay, it doesn't tell me the fucking date. Great. Um. Hmm. birthday when is her birthday it's a plant several syringes tightly packed what kind it is Uh, I don't know when her birthday is. When is her birthday? Should I just ask her? Ask her about birthday. Alright. Eh? My birthday? Oh, let me guess. You want to celebrate it? <laughs> that makes me happy. Alright then. I'll just do you a favor. Just this once and tell you. Mikoto was born on April 27th. Keep it a secret from everyone else. Alright. April 27th. That's the code. All right. Really quick, let me just. Uh. Okay. Uh. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Sorry. Let's send a message. Um. So, April. That's what four. Four, two, seven. Password confirmed. Got it. Takashi Kimikoto. Signing in. My name is Takashi Kimikoto. I live with my mom and dad. My dad's a businessman. A really, really plain one at that. He's so incredibly average. It's scary. He's plainly found a job. Plainly fell in love, plainly got married, plainly cheats on his wife, plainly goes about his daily life. In other words, he's just a normal, completely unextraordinary father. Copy and paste the name. 
Takashi Mikoto or just Mikoto? My mom works too. She's not around too much. She makes more than my dad. She won't tell me what she does. I think she tries to stay out of the house as long as possible to avoid dad's drunken rampage. Ra rampage. Ra rampage. Rampage. Ra ramp for fuck. Fuck. Fucking English. Fucking English language piece of shit. Alright. I know how she feels. I really wish I could run away too. But if I left, I doubt dad would even be able to feed himself. I'm keeping a diary. I think the true value of a diary comes out when someone else reads it. Right now, you're reading the thoughts that I've never shown to others. I think I wrote this because I wanted someone to help me. I'm currently keeping the two under surveillance. They seem to be unchanged quite a bit since last week. They resisted at first, but now they're actually afraid of me. I cook their food. I don't give them chopsticks. They eat with their hands. I tell them that... I tell them that's just the way we do things around here. I tried teaching them something. After all, teaching people helps them improve as well. The computer name is a code? What, Mikoto? Alright. Neither of them took it seriously at all. They didn't pay much attention to what I said. You're a demon child, they yelled at me. So I punished them. I let them go a week without food. When I went back to check on them, dad was dead. Mom was whisking away. She no longer had the energy to cry or even glare at me. When I called out to her, she didn't respond. I was trembling on my bed. I was scared and thinking that I might have gone past the point of no return. I... Looks like it ends here. Looking closer, there's something stuck on the bottom of the keyboard. It's a torn diary scrap. There's no turning back now. You want to know my secret, don't you? I'll tell you. Just open the door. It's open. The closet. The closet door seems to be open. It's pitch black inside. I can't see what's at my feet. I, it might be best to have some... To... Have to light it up before going inside. Go inside. We have a flashlight, so... Yeah. Computer name is the code. Inside the closet... Jump scare. Turn on the flashlight. Three, two, one. Yep. I had a feeling. Lying inside the closet are several unidentifiable corpses. Examine more closely. A thick stench pervades the air inside the closet. It smells like a mixture of garbage and vomit. The corpses have no extern externally visible wounds. Did they starve to death? There's one female and two males. They must be Mikoto's mother, father, and likely Yukimaru. I think I should probably just pretend that I never saw any of this. Leave the closet. She's gonna know. Yep. What are you doing, Mataro? I'm pretty sure I asked you not to go in my room. You saw it, huh? So you saw it, huh? My secret? Mataro, are you shaking? It was hard for me, you know? Will you listen to what I have to say? Well, I don't really have much of a choice. Thanks. Well, when I was little, I wasn't the kind of girl who could do anything like I am now. The old me was nothing like what people think I am now. I was the kind of girl that everyone wanted to bully and looked really shabby. I was always super gloomy, and I was dumb and easily fooled. Even mom and dad gave up on me. You really can't do anything, they told me. Over and over, day after day. I tried hard. I tried really, really hard. Even if my friends and teachers were already a lost cause. I didn't want my parents to throw me away. After a lot of hard work, I eventually got to where I am today. The old me no longer existed. I had thrown it away by changing myself. 
I changed everything about me. Both my attitude and appearance became bright and cheery. I was loved by everyone. No one would bully me anymore. That's what I thought, but mom and dad still wouldn't accept me. They still didn't understand me. Even though I worked so hard, they still wouldn't accept me. They wouldn't accept me! So I thought maybe I should try giving them a proper upbringing. I thought if I worked my butt off to raise them right with plenty of love, they would become good kids. So I took care of my mom and dad every day. I give it my best every single day. I made so much yummy food for them. There would eventually be a day when they came around to understand me. I truly believed that. But I messed up. Mom and dad were cold. Went cold. It was almost as if they stopped breathing altogether. Chara face? Yeah. <laughs> There was no point to it anymore. I was beginning to wonder if there was even a point in living anymore. But then, Yukimaru showed up. He told me he liked me, so I thought he would be able to understand me. But Yukimaru... He found out about my secret, and it scared him. He tried to run away and I caught him. I had a feeling that things were getting out of hand. It was scary, so I got Yukimaru to stay here with me. Forever. <sighs> Sorry, I haven't slept. Forever, like mom and dad. Mataro, are you going to run away too? Hug me, Koto. Huh? Mataro, what are you doing? I... I'm a murderer. If you stay with me, you're probably gonna end up getting killed. You're not going to run away, Mataro? I mean, if I do, you're probably going to catch me anyway and kill me. So, like, I don't really have much of a choice. <laughs> Mataro, I really screwed up big time. What should I do? If I lost you, I'd be all alone again. And then... Then... I think I'd end up where Mom and Dad and Yukimaru are. I have to see them again, so I can apologize. I have to. Are you telling me I can't? Forgive her. You forgive me, Mataro? You're going to forgive me? Mataro, I'm a bad girl. I just wanted... I just wanted... I just wanted mom and dad to praise me. I just wanted them to tell me I was smart for working so hard. That's all I wanted. How did it turn out this way? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mikoto was crying. I, st I stayed silently. Simply holding her tight. I wonder if in that moment I was able to give her the true understanding she so desired. I stayed with her the whole time. I figured time would heal with would heal her heart. Oh. Hey look! Mataro, look, it's snowing. Oh I know, let's make a snowman. I used to have a lot of fun making snowmen. Uh I used to have a lot of fun making snowmen and Snowmans and igloos back in the day. Every day I would stay out playing until it got dark. My hands and feet would be so cold. But warming my hands up uh, up by home, holding them near, near the stove was the best feeling in the world. I was always playing by myself, though I was I really wanted to have a snowball fight with someone too. But now I have you to play with. <laughs> I'm not lonely anymore. Now that you can now that you're here. After that, Mikoto bawled her eyes out. Day after day, she kept crying. I never gave up on her. To make sure she didn't kill herself, I was always by her side. And then, it finally came. The first winter since we met. Mikoto was slowly regaining her happiness. I was able to see her smiling once again. I... I love you. I gazed at Mikoto's happy smiling face for a long time. True end. Wow, I got the true end on the first try, or is this a case of like, is this like Hansel and Gretel, or like, is every ending but one the true end? 
like Hansel and Gretel, which was done by Sharon as well. Hmm. The human luck, yeah. I don't know if it was luck or if like every single ending is a true ending except for one. <laughs> because in um because the person who made this game made uh, a bunch of other games, but like two games I played earlier, and she made uh, like a Little Red Riding Hood um, Dark Side game, where where every single ending was a true end, except for the one where you don't die, and that one is a bad end. And same with Hansel and Gretel, it's like every single ending that you- where you die is a true end. <laughs> okay. Hey, so I was unable to recover part 60 on my 3k stream VOD, but it, because the VOD itself went past 12 hours, and usually I'd be able to recover it using the built-in YouTube editor. I could use that to select a segment and re-upload it as a, as a video, but I couldn't do that here. I guess it's because a certain amount of time passed. So the second part of Migoto Niki that I streamed, um, yeah, that's, that's lost forever. But because I didn't want to leave this part empty, I decided to re-record it just to kind of show off the last two endings so if there's something i did in part 16 that i didn't do here yeah sorry about that i literally cannot go back and check the vod is completely dead and we're back okay so i made a mistake on let's try that one again uh <laughs> i was supposed to load a save and I started the, the new game. Hey, right. um, I actually have no idea which save has what. Let me see. Items. I have the flashlight on this. Okay, so I have to. I have to go back. This one shouldn't have the flashlight. It does not. Okay. Okay, thank you, Usa. You're always a great help. Just dot dot dot. Alright. I have to go into the basement, I think. Uh, I don't know when. Okay. So, uh, it's a rather foggy mirror. I don't remember exactly where the flashlight is. A man's suit and shirt are hung here. Could, they, could these belong to Mikoto's dad? It's a wardrobe with a mirror attached. There's a bunch of emergency goods sitting in the box. Take the flashlight? No. A syringe is lying on the floor. It's empty. There's some medicine inside. There are several syr There are several syringes tightly packed inside. It's a plan. Alright. What's out here? There's a trash can here. A bunch of kit a bunch of kitchen refuses inside. There's a pink flower here. It seems to be taken care of quite nicely. There's a well maintained flower here. There's a red flower here. I don't know what kind it is. I guess I've already done this. So do I just go into the closet? Is that what, what I need to do? The closet door seems to be open. It's pitch black inside. I can't even see what's at my feet. Might be best if I have something to light it up before going inside. Go inside? Yes. Inside the closet. It's too dark to see anything.
Mataro was hit in the back of the head and toppled over to onto the floor. Mataro, you have to watch your back. In a pitch black place like this, you could be killed by just about anyone. Like me. Bad end. Uh... Okay, let me load. I guess we'll load the one with the flashlight. Go inside, yes. Inside the closet. Turn on the flashlight. Lying inside the closet are several unidentifiable corpses. Examine closely or walk away. Um... What if I just walk away? I think I should probably just pretend that I never saw any of this. Leave the closet. What are you doing, Mataro? I'm pretty sure I asked you not to go in my room. So you saw it, huh? My secret? Mataro, are you shaking? It was hard for me, you know? Will you listen to what I have to say? Listen? Thanks. Well, when I was little, I wasn't the kind of girl who could do anything like I am now. The old me was nothing like what people think I am now. I was the kind of girl that everyone wanted to bully. I looked really shabby, I was always super gloomy, and I was dumb and easily fooled. Even mom and dad gave up on me. You really can't do anything, they told me, over and over, day after day. I tried hard, I tried really hard. Even if my friends and teachers were already a lost cause, I didn't want my parents to throw me away. After a lot of hard work, I eventually got to where I am today. The old me no longer existed. I had thrown it away by changing myself. I changed everything about me. Both my attitude and appearance became bright and cheery. I was loved by everyone. No one would bully me anymore. That's what I thought. But mom and dad still wouldn't accept me. They didn't understand me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful. Even though I worked so hard... They still wouldn't accept me. They wouldn't accept me! So I thought maybe I should try giving them a proper upbringing. I thought if I worked my ass off to raise them... To raise them right with plenty of love, they would become good kids. So I took care of mom and dad every day. I gave it my best every single day. I made so much yummy food for them. They would eventually... There would eventually be a day... When they came around to understand me, I truly believed that. But I messed up. Mom and Dad went cold. It was almost as if they stopped breathing altogether. There was no point to it anymore. I was beginning to wonder if there was even a point in living anymore. But then Yukimaro showed up. He told me he liked me, so I thought maybe he would be able to understand me. But Yukimaru, he found out about my secret and it scared him. He tried to run away, and I caught him. I had a feeling that things were getting out of hand. It was scary, so I got Yukimaru to stay here with me. Forever, like mom and dad. Mataro, are you going to run away too? Run away, save Amikoto's side, or hug? Um, run away. Oh, so you're going to run away, Mataro? Do you think you can just run away from me? But why? I thought you liked me. I guess that's how it is, huh? You're telling me you liked me. But that was just a lie. I ran as fast as my legs would carry me. Mikoto ran after me, but she didn't come out of the house. 
I figured this was for the best. To think that Mikoto was a crazed murderer. It sent chills down my spine. I was together with a nut job. I was nearly tripping over myself in exhaustion. Just as I decided to take a break, I heard a voice from behind. Mataro, I caught you. Bad end one, from behind. Okay, and just one more. So go back to this. I'll skip the dialogue this time. Go inside. Inside the closet. Turn on the flashlight. Lying inside the closet are several unidentifiable corpses. Examine more closely. Let's see. A thick stench pervades the air inside the closet. It smells like a mixture of garbage and vomit. The corpses have no externally visible wounds. Did they starve to death? There is one female and two males. They must be Mikoto's mother, father, and likely Yukimaru. I think I should probably just pretend that I never saw any of this. Leave the closet. What are you doing, Mataro? I'm pretty sure I asked you not to go in my room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've read all of this. Alright, let's see. And... Stay by Mikoto's side. Really? You're really going to stay with me? I'm glad, Mataro. But you have to stay with me forever, okay? You can't leave my side. Don't worry. I'll whip up plenty of food for you. Every day. From now on. I'll do my best to take care of you. I was locked in the closet. Bad end 2. What you wished for. Uh, well, that's the last ending, I'm pretty sure. I can double check. So, what you wished for, true ending? Yep, that's it. Cool. Alright, and that is it.